everybody this is Amanda from the fundamental home and I am doing a video because I wanted to do a live video and it's looking like I'm not gonna be able to do that today but I just wanted to check in with everyone and say thank you for praying for me while I've been sick I'm recovering well today is Monday and I had surgery Friday to have my gallbladder removed I am still on the pain medication. I'm weaning myself off as quickly as I can because I really don't uh, don't like the idea of being on pain medication too long. Um, so I'm resting. I'm a little bit loopy still because of all the meds, but overall I'm doing really well. Um, I managed, I, I did kind of try to do a live event and it just wasn't working. I kept getting this red screen and I talked to Brian about it and he's working on it but I don't know if it'll get fixed soon so I wanted to make sure you saw my face and saw I'm doing okay um, I was able to shower yesterday which that was an accomplishment and uh, <clears throat> really was because I've been laying down a lot today was my first day that I was really up at all like really up uh, but I'm not really doing anything. I'm just kind of sitting up and doing a little bit. Yesterday I also crocheted a uh, granny square for Amanda from Freedom Acres and it took me all day to crochet one granny square. So it was nice. I've been getting meals from my church and um, all of our friends have been helping us with taking the kids wherever they need to go and um, just making sure things are taken care of. My friend bought me Sweet Frog today. That was very nice. Thank you, Tara. Um, and she said I needed to keep my, my nutrition up as I recover. So, um, so far so good. The family has really been doing everything. We live in North Carolina, so we are in the middle of the whole gas crisis. And we did have gas stations shut down here in the last few days. Um, but, you know, we, we're sitting on full tanks, so we're okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm very thankful. A lot of times when I do my videos and we talk about how we have a tight budget, one of the blessings of living on a budget and actually living on your budget is that generally speaking you have everything you need so even though I had surgery and even though this is kind of a challenging time for our family I've actually found that because we always stay on budget we're actually really well prepared for these um, challenging circumstances and there the dogs go barking again so basically I mean all of our bills are paid I have food in the house because I already had a menu plan and with the folks coming in from the church adding extra food I mean that's just bonus for us and um, you know we're just I found myself to be in a very comfortable position you know Rick has tons of time that he can take off from work if he were inclined to and he did take off this past weekend so he was able to stay home um, and you know we've just we've got a lot of freedom because we stay on our budget and so I think that's important to mention you know a lot of times people think that a budget is so um, constricting you know that it that it's it's not worth it because you just it, people often say you know we don't have any fun and I think we do have loads of fun um, but in addition to that when times are more challenging I, I find that I'm very comfortable and I don't have to worry because we've taken care of everything all along. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know I'm here and I'm doing well. And I am getting on the computer here and there now. I'm, I'm not getting on it too much because frankly it's just a lot to set up. But laying on the couch isn't too bad. I don't, we don't really have TV. Um, like we have, um, I forget what it's called. Amazon Movies or Amazon. It's with the Prime. With Amazon Prime, you get Amazon Video. And we also have Hulu that Ricky pays for. Um, so I've been watching a lot of junk. <laughs> um, but not really watching it because it's really not my thing, but it's kind of on. So 
I don't know. I, I'm trying to find something good. There's just not much out there. We did watch Seven Brides for Seven Brothers the other day because Ricky got that for his birthday and that was fun. Um, but I'm a little bored, I'll tell you the truth, but, but really I cannot complain at all. Not at all. I had really great people send me some Pinterest things so I can crochet ornaments and it's kind of got me thinking about Christmas, which I know it's September, I know it's a little early, but it's nice to think ahead a little bit because like I just said, it's good to be prepared. So I'm, I'm working on some of these crocheted ornament things. I'm, I'm really excited about those. And um, maybe I'll do a giveaway with those. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I just wanted to send you a quick little update. I'm probably going to go ahead and try to make a video tomorrow, a short one, for um, Trish's virtual homeschool co-op. And she's got another um, assignment out, so I'll probably try to put that up. I'm going to have Brianna edit my videos because it's just a lot for me to sit at the computer and edit them. But it doesn't take much for me to sit here and turn the camera on and talk. And I think that's it. I don't know if I'm going to do much else this week. I wish I could tell you. I wanted to be able to do the live videos because there are no editing involved. But with the laptop fussing with me, it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> I'll probably uh, screen capture that, that face right there. That'll probably be my thumbnail. Anyway, I would love to watch some of my YouTube friends. Um, but I don't, I can't really do it from my couch and it's hard to sit at the chair at the computer. So I'll catch up on all your videos here soon. And I think that's it. I'm just rambling now. So anyway, I'm gonna go and rest a little more. But here I am and I'm good and I miss you. And I'm glad you guys are sending me sweet messages. It's been really nice. And I appreciate it. That's it. Oh, and if you ask me about the P.O. Box, I know, I know. I was looking at the P.O. Box before all of this. And I actually thought about asking the post office today, but I just didn't want to get on the phone. But maybe tomorrow. I, I'm going to get on it. It's, it's, it's on my priority list. Let me recover a little bit. <laughs> anyway, you all have a good night. And I will see you next time. Thanks again for praying for me. It's working. I'll see you soon.